Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to Tuesday, the 17th of October. 41 degrees this morning. It's made it up to 49 now. Got a little bit of a bite to it. But the nice thing is, been off and on little patches of sunshine and little speckles of blue sky here and there. I like that. I don't know what it's supposed to be today. I don't think it's 100% rain like it was yesterday. Man, that was crazy. Crazy rain. Phones, that crazy alert thing going off on your phones for a tornado, all kinds of stuff. It was a wild day yesterday. Hopefully today will be a whole lot calmer. Well, uh, let's see how it works out. <laughs> Welcome to the day. Hey, scorching 58 degrees here in Vancouver. I think it's nice up there. I think it's just a fog layer that's, yeah, that's stuck in. Right yeah, I do too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we kept getting fog warnings going down the highway. Yeah, clear up. Fog, fog warning ahead. Warning, warning. Oh, late. We're already in it. Yeah. <laughs> well, Mama? Yes, I have. It's Tuesday fun day. Mm -hmm. Forever. That's worth it. Yeah. Hopefully there's something fun in there. There's always something know. fun. It's always something different. That's yeah. for sure. Yeah. yeah. There's no two exactly the same, is there? No. <laughs> well, Mom? Yes. Let's go in there and bust it out. All right. Sounds like a plane. All right. All right. All right. Have a wonderful day. You too. All right. Love to see you. Bye. Love you. Bye bye now. Bye. Bowels were all inspect and have to pull the cams back out. Got the new cam chain tensioner, which is part of a recall. <clears throat> it's just a matter of just reassembling it now. And there's, I don't, I don't, I don't know what that could be. <laughs> I'm about ready to wrap this gal up, tighten everything down. Like I say, reassemble everything, put her back to stock, and ship it. Man, took a long time to get that camshaft in stock. Long time. <laughs> kind of a ridiculous amount of time. Those things sometimes happen. You have no control over it. But all that kind of weird stuff, other than painted parts, that's just a, a new policy with BMW. They only guarantee painted parts during the production run of a motorcycle. And uh, if they have it, because they there is extras always, but they don't re retool or repaint. You can still buy the unpainted and, and get them painted, which we have to do here. Those are readily available, and at like more than half the less than half the price, or, or more than less than half. Like if it's two hundred bucks, it'll. It will be 75 bucks. I don't know what the price of that thing was, but just as an example. But then how much is somebody going to charge to color match that satin gray? That'll be kind of tricky. But yeah, other than that, the normal things like the supply shortage and all that stuff, that just, it's like what happened yesteryear kind of a thing. It's not even discussed mostly anymore. Unless you watch those info commercials. Warning. Dude, a supply chain shortage. This will be the last run of this gimmicky thing we're trying to sell you on TV. <laughs> All right. I got to look up what the torque is for tightening that thing. Because you can't get the head of the wrench in there. So you got to reach in with an angled torque wrench. Or torque adapter. And you have, you know, the long end. It's got to be 90 degrees of the torque wrench. You use these things all the time. They're great for getting into places. That one's a 19 millimeter. That's why I pulled it out. I'll look up in the manual, see what the torque's supposed to be on it. I don't recall. This is how you set it up. Yeah, but 90 degrees. Like I say, you got to run the wrench backwards in there. So you just put it in the off position torque is torque it'll read it either way but you have it upside down and torque it down no big deal gotta have the right tools though well believe it or not 
Looks like that construction and woodland on that bridge is over. It looks like normal time. I'm zooming in. There's no, no even slow marks. So she's a uh, free reign. We're back to normal again. Man, month and a half or more. It's been a while. <laughs> so check it out. That's my big K10. My Traxxas TRX4 K10 high trails. I haven't driven this thing in a long time. But she's got a little trick to her. I'll let it reveal itself. Oh, what is this? What the heck is that? <laughs> that would be the TRX4M Bronco. That was what was in those boxes I was showing you earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I put the pro whoa wrong remote. Dang gum it. Hold on. Alright. This is completely stock. The only thing non-stock on it is the well it's a Traxxas product is the Pro Scale lighting kit. And just like the Pro Scale lighting kit on the one tenth scale Bronco, you got brake lights, you got reverse lights. Is that cool or what? Now this is the medium gearing, I guess you could call it, or standard, star, sorry, standard gearing. It's a low gearing option, which is what I have in the Defender now. And uh, they have a speed gearing option, which I don't know why you would take something that is as fun to play with as this in a, try to go fast with it this is just not something you go fast with it actually goes it goes faster than the uh than the defender even though the defender's got that enjora motor in there it's got quite a bit of speed to it but that's not quiet they are when they're stuck you get a lot of motor whine out of this and, but you kind of get that out of the enjora motor too but i don't care you know, I'm just noticing here, because I was just ripping around on the floor. I was driving up motorcycle ramps and stuff at, at work. And, um, oh, it turns nice and sharp. What the heck? Maybe I can just leave this one alone for a little bit. Yeah, that turns. It's not pushing the front end around. Well, what the heck? Maybe I'll just leave this thing alone. Man, how cool is this, huh? So, I got the Area 51, as I told you, and I just ordered this body um, along with it because the body was available, but you couldn't get it in the kit with the white body. So, at work, I pulled that thing out of the box, and, you know, it has the Area 51 body on it. I go, what the heck? That thing is green. I mean, green. Well, that's just the way it looks in the in the light. So I go back. I thought, man, I could have made that much of a mistake when I ordered this thing. So I look at the, you go into buy now, and then it shows you the options of colors. And um, there's that, they just call it A51. It's sitting there like a dog hair or something on there. It's still there. It's kind of floating around. But uh, anyway, in the picture, it kind of has this grayish blue look to it so i didn't go into the um the gallery so i went down the gallery and of course it's the trx4m it's mixed with the defender and the uh, and this so there is pictures of the area 51 that have the color that what this looks like so i was in here setting this thing up before i came out and, and uh it's in there at my desk and i go kelly come check this thing out i said this I swear this was kind of a grayish blue color, you know? And um, so I put it up this, my desk lamp, and it looks blue. Almost has a baby blue look to it. And I go, well, that explains what Doug Morgan was telling me. He bought the Area 51 version of this as well. 
and he was saying that it changes colors in different lighting. Well, I'm here to tell you, it definitely changes color in different lighting. So, like I was telling him, I'm just going to order another one of those Pro Scale lighting kits, and I'll just put that thing on it, and uh, we'll play with both of them. Kind of looks like you got two cars. But, man, very nice. Let's get this big old monster out of the way here. Whoa, about to drop a controller. Come on, big hoss. It is amazing the size difference between these two cars. Isn't that nuts? Now, I know I could drive over this Bronco with the K10, but the Defender, she's had a, quite a few bumps and bashes with it. So I didn't care if I scratched it a little bit the other day when I drove. What was I driving out here? Oh, the TRX4 Sport. Yeah, I won't be doing that to this one. I hope I don't end up, because my blue one-tenth scale Ford Bronco TRX4 without the M at the end, um, that's that's my baby. I, and I almost don't like playing with it too much because I'm afraid I'm going to crash and bang it, you know, because as you get there playing around, you get a little, little, little brave and start ripping, squirreling around and stuff. The only thing it ever got a little bit of a scratch on that that kind of a hanger thing up there when I went past those bricks and that was like right after I got it so uh anyway other than that she said safely that hair oh it's you know because this thing look at it because it, it it was in a plastic bag it's probably got stagnant electricity going like crazy but yeah she's beautiful She's just a small version of the big version. Everything works just beautiful on it. And it's crazy smooth right out of the box. I was just zipping around on the floor and you get dust on the on the wheels. And I forgot that it's in, I think it's a regular mode. I think there's a regular mode, a sport mode, and a crawl mode. Well, the brake lights weren't coming on. Well... Because in the first two modes, mode one and mode two, um, the brakes only apply when you add brakes, which is turning the throttle backwards. So um, I go, oh, yeah, it's in the wrong mode. So I switched to mode three, which is crawler mode. And then when you let go, because when you let go, that's the brakes. You know, it's trail braking. So you let go of the throttle. You give it any throttle, and it goes away. And you go backwards, of course, the reverse lights come on. But when you let go, that's right. So it's kind of, I didn't grow up with RC cars that way. Um, I shouldn't say grow up. I was in my 20s <laughs> when I got into RC cars. But um, planes and stuff way before then. But there was no rules back in those days. But uh, anyway, uh, so I got that plus... You can go just go full speed and just bank it into a turn and just let go of the throttle and it's it's skidded across that it gets that silty stuff on the floor inside there. But um anyway, love this thing. Oh, first thing, will it make it up the hill? Now one thing, if the thing starts to flip, I'm I'm getting out of it quick. So I'm not gonna push it. Now here are these BF Goodrich KM3s don't get as much traction on this thing. Um, is she getting? She's not even getting nose light. What? Here's what's gonna be scary. Oh, I'm not even pointing the camera. Oh no! Ah, oh, and she's down. It was a zip tie at the top I was snuck with, or snuck, snagged on, if I could speak. Oh, my poor little gal. Oh, scratch on it. Picked up dog hairs like crazy. No, oh, got a little, little nick in the corner there. Oh, it's just dirt. That's one nice thing about a super light, light truck. So let's try this one more time, and we're gonna avoid the zip ties at the top. 
Well, now that I know it's not going to flip, I'm just going to have a little speed here. Oh, I didn't even record it. I'm sorry. Yeah, she pushes the front end a bit there. Yeah, you can see her push it. In. So I'll probably put that that underdriven rear drive on this thing. Oh, man, I'm going to love this thing. can't believe I just sent that thing down the ramp right into rocks of all things. I'm sure I get in there and nitpick and I'll probably see some things. Whoa, she was getting light in the rear end. I had to bail out quick. <laughs> Will she go over the, the old half log here? Look at that. I mean, it doesn't even care. Oh, it's like super smooth. What is it with that? That's the way my other Bronco is. Why are they just, there's something special about these things. Oh yeah. The suspension is super smooth. Very nice. So what you think? That's pretty dang cool, huh? <laughs> I love it. I'm gonna have so much fun with this thing. Now we got two of them that Kelly and I can play with the with the minis. We can throw them in our backpacks or back of flirty or whatever. Saddlebag of the Road King. We can uh, take these things out, we'll see a little place and just go play. Very nice. Well, hello there, YouTube. It's a little cool out here, 53, which is warmer than normal about this time of night. Mm-hmm. But, uh, man, that little mini Bronco, super, super impressed. Just right out of the gate. I was even having fun just sliding around on that slick floor at work. But, uh, yeah, it's cool. That's really cool. What is it about the Bronco that's coming in and... Just rattling on to Kelly. I go, what is it with the Broncos? They're just so smooth and graceful. Something about them. It's rolling. Cool. Literally, the only difference is it's, it's got a Bronco body on it instead of a Defender body on it. But um, it's kind of the same thing with the TRX4, you know, the one-tenth scale. There's just, like, none of the other cars. There's something really, really special about that Bronco. It's just very graceful and real looking when it when it goes along you know that's what you like mm -hmm. okay. keep playing with your little matchbox cars in here we <laughs> youngster <laughs> but, Crazy, man. yeah too much fun i was just thinking you know every once in a while we'll stop somewhere and you go that'd be cool if you had a little RZ car that's why we're kind of coming up with that thing of like carrying them around and stuff like that because there's little spots it'd be so much fun to just goof around just you only got to play for just a few minutes, you know. Or more if you're having a bunch of fun. Just throw them back in the bike, backpack, saddlebag, whatever, and roll on. Good times, man. Nothing like mixing motorcycles and RC cars. Whew. You'll sleep good that night. Uh -huh. <laughs> so relaxing. But anyway, speaking of relaxing, I get talking about it, I just start nodding off. <laughs> looking that stuff up and take end up crashing i fell asleep in my desk last night again too goofing around with that rc car stuff first oh yeah <laughs> out i go anyway well that we're gonna roll all righty well thank you guys so much for watching we really do appreciate it we will talk to you tomorrow same smoke time same smoke channel don't forget mm -hmm. to give it a thumbs up and you guys have an amazing wednesday or thursday yep all right all right we'll see you then see you in the morning thanks for watching Bye-bye. <laughs>